What's up, everybody? Master King Chef J right here, and I appreciate you guys watching. This is actually episode three of Flavor Time, and I got a special treat for you today. We are gonna be making a chicken pot pie, but not just any chicken pot pie. I'm gonna take some chicken, season it in some jerk marinade and jerk spices, grill it, and it's gonna knock your sauce off. So if I was you guys, I would not go anywhere. Stick around. So you guys know me by now. I'm always trying to take things to the next level. So this chicken pot pie is not gonna be grandma's pot pie. What I'm gonna do is take this chicken and season it in some jerk marinade. You guys inspire me so much. As a matter of fact, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my fans who actually made this awesome picture for me. Her name is Candace Martin. Candace, I really appreciate you doing that for me. That right there, that is the bomb.com. Appreciate that. All right, so let's get into the seasoning of the chicken. So, I have some chicken breast right here. I'm gonna season it liberally with some jerk spice, okay? But first, I'm gonna hit it with some salt, right? And make sure you get both sides of that. I'm gonna season it with some salt, and then I'm gonna hit it with some ground, fresh, cracked, black pepper. Actually, this is a medley of peppers right here. This is a peppercorn medley. It just gives it more flavor. Y'all know me. We always talking about building flavors, and I just not saying it. I really do want you guys to build flavors. So I'm gonna take that jerk spice and liberally season both sides of that chicken breast with that jerk spice. I'm gonna flip it over, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, salt, peppercorn, and then the jerk spice. So, I added the jerk spice, the salt, the pepper. Now I'm going to kick it up another level. Now, of course, you can make your own jerk marinade, but I have this jerk marinade I bought from a local supermarket. You guys can do the same. And I'm gonna put it on this jerk chicken right here. Man, it's gonna give it so much flavor. And we're doing all this just for chicken pot pie, okay? Now, I'm gonna let this go in the fridge, let it marinate for about 30 minutes, and then, guys, we're gonna grill this inside the house, okay? Don't go anywhere. All right, so I am pulling this wonderful marinated chicken out of the refrigerator, and now we're gonna grill it, all right? So right here, I have this grill pan that you guys can use inside your house, okay? It is really cold outside. It is like 24 degrees, so you know I'm a Miami boy and I'm here in Nashville. I ain't going out there in that cold and grill, so I'm gonna do it inside the house. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan, and then I'm gonna take this chicken breast that I have right here. Damn it. Man, now, guys, anytime you're cooking or grilling or frying, and you put something in the pan, and it doesn't make that noise, your pan was not hot enough, okay? All right, so I'm gonna set these chicken breasts down, and they're pretty big size chicken breasts. They're probably gonna cook about five minutes per side. I'm gonna get those nice and grilled, and then I'll show you guys exactly what we're gonna do next. Oh man, this is smelling so good, man. Look at this, come here, come here, come here, look at that. You smell that? Can you smell that? Can you smell that camera guy? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You see that jerk chicken right there? It's gonna take that chicken pot pie to a whole nother level, to a whole nother world, to a whole nother stratosphere. Welcome to Flavor Town, baby. Woo! Hey, man. Welcome back. I was, I don't, I don't know where I was, but it was fun up there. All right, so check it out. This right here is looking and smelling exactly how I want it to. And as you see here, I have a grill press, press and I have a grill pan. But if you don't have that, don't worry. Don't have a cow, all right? All you gotta do 
is sear it off in the pan or just bake it in the oven. But I do recommend you use these same spices that I use, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take this chicken out and look how beautiful, look at that. Nice and caramelized and full of flavor. We're gonna set this to the side because later, guys, what we're gonna do is take this chicken, dice it, and we're gonna add it to our pot pot mix Then I'm gonna show you guys how to do next, okay? And anytime, guys, you're gonna cut anything that you bring out of the oven or even if you bring it out of the pan, you have to let it rest, okay? Because if you don't, if I cut into this right now, all those juices that we marinated will just seep out and we will have dry chicken. You don't wanna have dry chicken, all right? So we're gonna make this, we're gonna put this to the side and then we're gonna get into that pot pot mix. All right, so I got olive oil and butter in there. I'm gonna add my fresh carrots in there, okay? Just took some carrots and diced them up. Then I did a half of an onion. Add that in there as well, okay? And then I got some celery, because you can't have a pot pie without onions, carrots, and celery, right? It's impossible. So I'm gonna add that in there. Now, we gotta take our time and let this cook, all right? Maybe about seven minutes, but we don't want it to get mushy because we want it to have a bite because we're gonna bake this stuff, all right? Now, anytime you're using fresh uh, vegetables, make sure you season them, okay? And what the salt and pepper does, it just brings up the natural flavors in those vegetables. So I'm gonna add some salt, and then I'm gonna add some pepper, all right? I'm gonna saute this for about five to seven minutes, and then we're gonna add some more ingredients. All right, so I'm about three minutes. I'm halfway there where I wanna be with these uh, carrots and peppers. So right here I have some peppers and onions, okay? Now, this is a whole nother level for the pot pie. Most people don't do this, but y'all know me. I'm gonna add some peppers and onions to this, all right, because we are making jerk pot pie, right? You can't have jerk without peppers, so I'm gonna add a little bit of jerk spice to that as well, all right, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some fresh garlic that I messed up, okay? I'm adding the garlic now because if I would have added the garlic when I added the rest of the vegetables, the garlic would burn. We don't like garlic, uh, burnt garlic around here. So I'm gonna add that to it. I'm gonna saute this. And then, right now, at this very moment, I'm gonna add some flour. Now, this is gonna be the root part of it. This is a half cup of flour. This is gonna give it the thickness for the creaminess of that pot pie that we want, okay? So I'm gonna sprinkle the flour around in here just like that there, okay? And then I'm gonna stir this around. And what I'm doing now is just cook this out until the flour taste goes out, maybe about three minutes because we don't want it to taste like flour, okay? Now I'm gonna show you guys, if you stick around, what Matt's King Chef j Rod got up his sleeve next. All right, camera guys, so check me out, man. Right here, I got my vegetables, right? Sauteed with the flour. Now, everybody, I'm gonna add some chicken stock. Now, I told you guys, you can go to your local supermarket and get chicken broth, but you know, I like to be fancy sometimes, so, you know, I get the organic, but you don't have to, you can use any chicken stock you want. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit at a time, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit at a time so I can gauge how thick I want it. So I'm gonna add a little bit, and then what I'm gonna do now is break up the flour so it can be nice and smooth because you want a nice smooth texture when you do this, all right? So you stir it up a little bit at a time, okay? And it's breaking up really good. I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken stock. And this is uh, 32 ounces of chicken stock, but I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I use about half of it, okay? And right now, I'm gonna add the heavy cream. Once I add the heavy cream, this is a cup. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and what happens is, once I bring this up to a boil, it lets it get to its full thickness, okay? If you don't, it will never get as thick as you want it. So you gotta bring it up to a boil and then let it simmer down, baby. You gotta let it simmer down. So I'm gonna let this boil and simmer down and then we're gonna show you guys the next step. All right, so we have it simmered. Check it out, right? This is the nice and nice and thick, guys. We're making a pot pie. Remember, we gotta add some more ingredients to that, okay? now. Right now, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and add my corn, all right? I'm gonna add my frozen peas. I don't know where you guys are from, but where I'm from, pot pie does not come without corn and peas, but that's totally up to you guys. And then, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more salt because we didn't really season the uh, mix too much. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, okay? 
And then some pepper again, all right? Man, it sounds so good, it smells good, it's looking good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more jerk spice. Now, guys, here's the kicker, right? I'm gonna add some dry oregano, about a quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna add some dry thyme, about a quarter teaspoon. You know why? Because we are always building flavors. Say it with me. We are always building flavors. Guy in a red shirt, say it with me. We are always building flavors. You got it, guy in a red shirt, good job. And then I'm gonna add some tarragon in here, okay? Add a little bit of tarragon in here. Now, I'm gonna stir this up. Oh, man, doesn't this look good? Oh, man, wow, nice and thick and creamy. You see the carrots in there, look at all those colors. The carrots, the peas, the corn. This is gonna be so good. So what I'm gonna do now is put this on low, okay? And remember that chicken, that jerk chicken with the marinade and the jerk spice with the salt and pepper that we grilled and it was smelling so good because we all got smell of vision Remember that chicken? We are gonna dice that chicken up, add it to this, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna do next, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not go anywhere. So the filling for the pot pie is done, all right? I let that chicken rest, like I told you guys, because I didn't want all that work you and I did to be wasted by cutting into it and all the juices come out. So I'm gonna take the chicken breast right here, and all we're gonna do is like dice it up, okay? Look at that. Look at that perfectly grilled chicken breast. Y'all see that? We ain't playing no games here on Master King Chef J. Rice. You know what I'm saying? Flavor building, knocking your socks off, flavor over flavor. We ain't playing no games. All right, so I'm gonna go in there and cut these into pieces and then I'm gonna dice them up, okay? Man, this looks so good. Perfectly grilled chicken. All right, and then I'm just gonna go and I want nice size pieces of chicken breast, okay? I want nice size pieces because I want to taste, have a bite of chicken in every bite. Again, I'm gonna go down each, look at that, perfectly moist. You see how juicy that is? Look at that, guys. Man, that's how you grill some chicken. I would never steal you wrong. You know why? Because you are now inside the home of Flavortown, baby. And that's what Flavortown is all about, right? We do things the right way. Okay, so I cut this chicken up into pieces. And then I'm going to add this chicken to a mixture over there. And then guys, you know what we're going to do for a topping? I know y'all like to use crust or puff pastry, but no. Master King Chef j Rod's going to top these things with some flaky biscuits, all right? So stick around and I'll show you exactly what we got going on. Flavor town, baby. Flavor in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so listen, we diced up that chicken. Thank you guys for your help. Thank you guy in the red shirt, you're a really good, really good guy, man, I appreciate it. Now, y'all know me by now, right? You know I like my hot sauce, right? So, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce to my mix, okay? Now, this is optional, it's totally up to you guys, but really, I'm trying to blow y'all minds. So, you do it like I do it, or you can do it how you wanna do it, either way it goes, it's gonna be good. So I add a little bit of hot sauce. And y'all see how nice and thick that is? Look at that, man. That looks good. Y'all see that steam? Y'all know what that mean? That mean we are really cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna take that chicken that we diced up and add the chicken to that. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at this. Nice and chunky and awesome. Beautiful pot pie mix. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is take the pot pie mix and add it to this pan right here. And we're gonna bake this in the oven, but that ain't all we're gonna do. So look, I just pour that in there like that. Uh-huh, here we go with that. Here we go with that smell of vision again. I know y'all smell it. It's smelling so good. Actually, man, I got a story about chicken pot pie, man. They used to sell these at the store because I didn't always grow up with fine things in life. These used to be like a dollar a piece at the grocery store, and it was like a go-to meal for me, man. So I really, really appreciate and love chicken pot pie. So I wanted to share with you guys on one of the foods that I grew up eating, and I wanted to take it to another level. All right, so that's what we got here. 
got that chicken pot pie, and then I'm gonna just take some biscuits, right? Just some store, some store bought biscuits, right? And they're gonna put them on top of here. And this is gonna act as the crust to my pot pie, okay? I'm gonna put this in here, right? Just like that. And then I'm gonna hit it with some melted butter. I'm gonna bake this in the oven, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. And then we gonna ready to eat, baby. Flavor Town. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is add some melted butter. I'm just gonna brush the top. This is gonna give it more flavor, but it's also gonna give it a nice shine when it comes out of the oven, okay? Real simple. Man, this is gonna be so good. I'm excited about it. Now all we gotta do is sit back and wait. Now, this is a great dish that you guys can make ahead of time and invite people to come over, all right? It's real easy to do, and then it lasts for a couple days. So it's real easy to just make this a couple days ahead of time and invite it over. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Flavor Town, baby. Hey, camera guy, it's about that time again, man. You know what time it is. Take a look in the oven, camera guy. Check that out. Look how it's just bubbling, sizzling. Man, that thing looks so good. All right, I'm gonna start talking to the people that's out there, to the 40,000 subscribers, all right? All right. All right, everybody. So, our pot pie is just about ready to come out of the oven, and here we go. Look how beautiful that looks, man. Are you serious? Are you for real? All right, so what I'm gonna do is just set that bad baby down right there. Hey, for real though, you guys are awesome, so I want y'all to go check out my awesome website, right? What are we gonna put it up? We're gonna put it up here this time. It's W, kind of upside down. It says www, camera guy, but it look like MMM. But anyway, www.masterkingchefjrod.com. That's what it says. I'm just reading it upside down. I'm gonna flip it back and I'm gonna drop it right here. www.masterkingchefjrod.com. That's better for me to read. Also, guys, I like you guys to like. I like you guys to share, and I would really like you guys to subscribe to my awesome website, all right? Like, share, and subscribe these videos as well. And also, do not forget to hit that notification button. That way, when I shoot a video, when I go live, you guys, not, not you this time, it's all about a guy in a red shirt today. You, yeah, guy in a red shirt. You'll be the first one to know when I'm live or when a video upload, like the last video. They uploaded like at one in the morning. All you guys watched it, so I really appreciate that. All right, so let's get into this pot pie. Okay, so I used biscuits, right? And then I did the jerk grilled chicken. Y'all remember that? We seasoned and marinated the chicken with the jerk in the marinade. Oh, the chicken by itself was like so good. And then you and I, me and you, we, we made this awesome pot pie filling, okay? So let's get in here and taste this thing. You know me, I want my own biscuit, all right? So you take that out like that. Look how nice and smoky and creamy that is, man. Listen, we are really cooking here, okay? No gimmick, you guys saw it all. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there, just for me. And I like, I like extra sauce. I'm gonna put a little sauce like that, just like that, for me. All right, guys, so now it's time for the moment of truth. See what Chef working with, you know what I'm saying? So as a matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm inviting the guy in the red shirt to come over and taste this for me because of course you guys gonna know I'm saying it's pretty good. So I would like you guys to give it up one time for the guy in the red shirt. Come on over here. Come on over here. Get a taste of this and then tell me what you think, sir. This is my live studio audience. Pardon my manners. Yes, sir. Wow, Perfect. you guys heard it from the guy in the red shirt. That is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste as well. If you don't mind, let me get in here with you, man. You know, we all I'm happy to share. Wow. First of all, that is like flavor. Look, he's running. Where are you going? I need you. It's okay, I got it. Guys, he's just gonna go eat his pot pie. Let's talk about all these flavors, all right? The chicken, the chicken by itself. Jerk spice, jerk marinade, salt pepper. It grilled and caramelized with that marinade. It is so good. And then we talk about 
those flavors with those carrots and those peas. I mean, the carrots pop in your mouth because they're nice, fresh, and tender. The carrots are nice and firm. The peas are just popping. That chicken broth though, and that, that gravy, and that mixture of the pot pie mix, oh man, it is to die for. You get the jerk, the salt, the pepper, the garlic, you get the hints of the herbs, and then I hit it with that hot sauce. But the kicker is those biscuits, man. And those biscuits top it to a whole another stratosphere. Y'all went up there and saw it with me. So that is really good. And like you already know, that right there is fire right there. That is straight fire. Hey, I'm about to sign out. And remember guys, what? Guy in the red shirt killed it, it's gone. There's no editing here, it's done. Finito. Nice job, man. Thank you so much, guys. Great. One time for my studio audience. <laughs> hey, guys, remember, always keep God first in your life and everything will fall into place. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Man, that's cool. <laughs> Don't make no sense. It's butter, all right? And then I'm gonna add some olive oil in there. The butter and the olive oil gives it a lot of flavor, not just plain old olive oil, okay? Then I'm gonna take some carrots. This ain't hot enough. Yeah. <laughs>